Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. This is a celebration for well Outrun is going to come out in the 12th in so in two days and then the 12th of March it will be coming. Right now I'm going to show you all the games that I bought from Sega. Uh, I will start with the arcade games and then the other old school games like Sonic and so on. The, the ones that I bought. I didn't buy them all because I only get the games where I have an infinity with that I like. Because well there's also a recently released previous month a shooting game from Sega and well I never played that in the old times. I never was any good at them, so I didn't bought that one. But let's start with this one. And well, it will be in the order of uh, how the game amazed me. Not that I don't like it. Let's talk only about the technical part. And when I start up the, the replay mode, so I can focus on what I'm going to tell you. And there we go. People who, so sorry, people who are expecting a video where you can listen to the sound. Well, sorry, this is all about chatting. If you don't like that, you can turn off this video. Because usually I will show the replay with and without chatting. But otherwise the video will be too long. So, this game is first because it's my least technical. Uh, the, technic the game that didn't impress me that much. And I will tell you why. This game was released after Outrun in the arcades. <coughs> Sorry. But Outrun had much more impressive sprites on the side of the roads. Look, it's smooth, it's fast, you got hills and there's a lot of stages, but it's kind of bald. Even on the Amiga 500, they made a decent version and that's because of the amount of sprites isn't mind blowing. Outrun has the most of the part, the whole side of the road is covered with grass or flowers or a, uh, the sea with the surface on it. So this is kind of empty compared to Outrun. But other than that the gameplay is amazing, the smoothness and in 3D it's a treat and telling me that Outrun is going to be at least equally impressive when it comes to the 3D mode. So this place, oh, let's say yes. And then let's get out of this game. Okay, the next one. Get ready. Space Harrier. Well, this actually was the first sprite scaling game that I have ever seen in the arcades. I don't know if there were any others, but for me, this was the very first sprite scaling game in the arcades here in the Netherlands. Space Harrier. And even if this was the first game, it, it had more sprites in the background and the enemies than, than Super Hang On, and that's why this game impresses me more. Also, due to the 3D effect, it's much easier to play than I even, I even had more trouble in the arcade than I have in this one. With this game, you get four continues and five lives per uh, continue. And so, you got four times five lives, and with that, I managed to get to the end. Yes, I got the, the demo time on as well, so you have a few seconds where you can die without punishment. But as you can see, I'm not dying at all. Well, so the 3D effect makes me more precise, and I must be honest, the arcade version, you have to do every shot yourself. And I'm using the B button, so it has a quick fire option. Otherwise, my thumb would have been uh, numb even before I hit stage 3 or 4. So, it makes playing the game more relaxing. And it's nice to be able to see all the stages in one row. So, Space Harrier is 
the next favorite game from me on this console. Let me see and now we go to this one. When it comes to the 3D effect, this game wins. It wins even from Galaxy Force. But Galaxy Force still is more amazing when it comes to amount of sprites, the immersion uh, that you get uh, from, uh, well, you got free, well, kind of free roaming parts where you fly towards, okay, let's start it up. Yes, when I watch this, well, you have, of course, you can't see the 3D effect in here. I just had to turn it off to make proper videos from it, from the, the console, from the handheld, because I'm just videotaping with a normal camera aimed at the console. And that's why I'm not playing myself, but I'm replaying one of my earlier playing sessions. Well, this game is great when it comes to speed and in the arcade, I never could finish it with a decent amount of money. And well, I, I actually in the beginning I wanted to be able to finish the game on one credit. Just like without run and other, other than that. But well, this game was just too big with so many stages. Well, in this conversion you also get four continues. Well, three continues and then the ones that you are starting off of course. Just like the previous game. So, you get those amount of continues. Well, usually on a playing session, I even have left one continue and one or two lives. And that's on an avard. Sometimes I play more bad and then I need the last continue. And then I got like four uh, airplanes over when I cross the finish line and that you get to see the landing sequence. But well, what I'm trying to say is, the gameplay has been improved upon on the handheld because it's, as you can see, much easier to put on the barrel roll. Sometimes I use it quite a lot, as you can see right here, because for me it's the only way. Look, I didn't pull off a barrel roll and the very first heat-seeking missile found my plane and blew me up. And so I'm barrel rolling a lot. And there are also some parts where you can just stick to steering hard to the left or right. Well, the gameplay has been improved upon so much on the 3DS for me. The only thing missing is the huge cabinet that they had on the arcade hall where I was playing. And so you are not being moved about. But this version has what the arcade didn't have, a 3D depth of view. And what I found impressive is not only the airplanes that come flying towards you are impressive in 3D, but also when you fly low to the ground, you only you don't only get the depth viewing into the screen, but also you can see and easily estimate how far above the ground you are flying. So this is an awesome game. A great conversion and I really hope that Sega will do much more of those because well this is just okay let's get it on with oh shit I'm hitting the tripod I hope I still got my camera aimed properly at the game I will check in the viewfinder um, well, I think that will do it. Let's go to the replay. Well, this is the most impressive conversion on the 3DS. And yes, even more, I haven't played Audrey yet because it's yet to come out. But, well, this game has so many sprites and the, that feeling of freedom that you got Back in the time when 3D wasn't real 3D, well, that still amazes me today. And as a matter of fact, all those old school games that i just shown you, all those arcade sprite scalers, when I thought, well, that looked 3D even without a 3D glass or a screen, and now you get it on the 3DS, 
This is proof that Sega has done some great trickery into making so much sprite on screen that you feel like that you are actually inside this surroundings and I'm not going to show you the full game there is already uh, a lot of videos of this game full screen and you can see them being played through from start to finish but there are some stages in here that are just amazing flying high above the clouds and then when you go below the clouds you get to see the ground and so much detail this is technically for me the best game ever on the system yes and this uh, if you ask me this is ported from the already great version that Sega released on the PlayStation 2 so there we go I don't have any uh, where I'm going to okay I'm not going to show you any gameplay from this because if I'm not mistaken there is no replay from my older PlayStation sessions but if yes I will play that too well, now I'm not keeping any order I'll just uh, will select them in the order of how they are on the console I would have loved them to do Street of Rage well see there's no uh, replay mode let's see what happens if I press start game yes it will going to demonstrate and that's nice so I can talk while we still have something to watch this song is amazing on the Mega Drive also and well this is a game it's released in 3D but part one of Streets of Rage didn't have as much multi layers as Streets of Rage, Rage sorry, 2 and 3. But still, it's nice that you get to see the very first game in the series. And I really hope that Sega will do the rest of the series. And well, at least part 2. Because 3, well, I've already got it on the compilation on the Xbox 360. It's nice, and it's nice that you have unlimited uh, credits at it because it's quite difficult and long as well. But both graphically and especially when it comes to the design, part two is my most favorite. Well, okay, let's go on to the next game. Uh, will you shut it down? Yes, I shut it down. And the next one is Sonic the very first one and well also yeah Sonic 1 is the first and I have the most fond memories on this one but graphically wise speed wise and uh, design sound part 2 was better and 3 was amazing usually when you go further it's not up for the best but for me this is it's a nice game and Part 2 and 3 were amazing. Yes, Sega, that's really nice. Sonic Team, they did a great job on the conversion. And, well, in those multi-layered stages, it's more 3D-ish, even though the game has no in-depth running. Everything you see is from the sides, even the, the level where you have to get the, the Chaos Emerald. Well, there's enough videos about this game, so let's continue. And on to the next. Oh, that was all that I've got from Sega. So there will be two slots free. Uh, you cannot see this. I will shove. Oh, yes, you can see it, but I kept one free slot in here. This free slot is for uh, the, the Chopper game, but I think I'm going to swap place with Galaxy Force because Galaxy Force is more uh, impressive. And I have one free slot in here, and that's reserved for Outrun. Well, Outrun for me is more impressive than a few other games, but I wanted it to be the closest to the left side so I can quickly select the game and play. So this part is selected. Or outrun. When this game is out, 
and I got the feel of the gameplay on the handheld and I got a nice replay in there I will make a video of Outrun and until that time Sega if you are listening Turbo Outrun it may ha have not got the same uh, popularity as the first Outrun but I would really love to see Turbo Outrun getting the same treatment as you give Outrun and of course also the other sprite scalers, Outrunners for instance, that game could be really popular because in that game there's a multiplayer mode and well you could just make it work over the internet or at least when a friend of mine has it in local play mode that you can play with one, two, three or four players at the same time. That would be really awesome and I would buy that in a heartbeat no thinking required I know you lost the license so the Ferrari in turbo outrun will not be the F40 but well you can do the same trickery as you did with the normal outrun change the sprite and as long as the sprite fits sorry fits into the era of outrun I won't mind having that game on this system and speaking of which, I know games are supposed to make money for the company, which is logical, especially for Sega. Uh, why not release all those great games, also the ones that I've just shown you, why not release them on more than one console or handheld? Well, I put it like this so you got something to watch it, but <laughs> just a turning around <laughs> after Burner Cabinet. But why not? release them on the, the normal consoles, consoles as well, the 360 or the one, the PlayStation 3 or 4. It would be, if you ask me, quite easy to port over because those consoles are more powerful than a 3DS. And well, you proved that, that you can make the 3DS perform like as if I'm back in the 80s and the 90s having those great conversions. Power Drift for instance, now that would be a, a game that really shows off the 3D engine that you created because there's so much depth, especially when you start, when you have selected a playing character and he drives out through a tunnel and then you get to see that zoom in sequence on the, on the actual track you are going to race on, well that will be amazing in 3D. So, well, there's a few suggestions that you could do and I know for sure that all your fans would be appreciative of this. Everybody, thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the new video.